Oke, okay, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Waalaikumsalam. Okay, good morning, students. Uh, Indah Putri. Oke, okay, I can see you. You're present. Um, Siti Aisyah Aulia. Oke, okay, I can see you. M. Arif. Uh, Delia Novita. Um, Ozi Alfi. And Masito, Dea, okay. So welcome back to our class. Actually, we would like to have a classroom meeting, but because of uh, hard raining since last night, so I decided to have online class. Kita punya kelas online uh, maksimal empat kali dalam satu semester ya. So this is our first first online uh, meeting. So without further ado, ini nama-namanya sudah ada di sini saya yang saya lihat ada dia Herliani, uh, Fauzia Alfi, kemudian Masito, M Arif, um, Yogi Jowandi, Nurafni. Okay. So I'd like to continue about our learning today. I think I have sent you the files, but I'm going to show you again. Okay, so here it is, the um, the slides. Okay, what is it? Hold on. Um, okay. So, all right. So this one about cities, population, and countryside of uh, British. I take this material from Peter Stock, a PhD. He is a lecturer in the Faculty of English, Na Trang University, Na Trang, Kang Hoa Province, Vietnam. Okay, so he wrote this document in December 2009. Okay, so we start by looking at this world map. Um, Can anyone tell me where is the United Kingdom? In the, in the north, left in the left side, <laughs> left side off. Yes. This is Canada, United States. Um, this is Russia, Australia, Indonesia. In the middle. Where, in the middle, around here. It's this is one, right? Yeah, so this, so, yeah, yeah. okay, so this is the United Kingdom, it's uh, right over here, closer to France and Greenland, it's Greenland right over here, this is United States, so closer to York, New York is in here, New York, and this is the UK, Africa, so from here, you can see this is the position of the United Kingdom, um, now I'd like to show you This is the United Kingdom. Um, as you can see, uh, we have Atlantic Ocean right over here. Okay, this is United. So we have Newcastle. Um, this is Ireland. Uh, yang tidak termasuk UK at the time. Still remember, uh, only. Um, Scotland right over here, Scotland, England, and Wales. So um, Ireland right over here does not belong to the UK, except Northern Ireland right over here. Irlandia Utara ya istilahnya kalau bahasa kita. Now from here, uh, it's very close to Netherlands, Germany, Belgium, and France. And it has English channel right over here. Uh, it's very interesting uh, for the name. So we will see each major cities in the UK. Okay, some students have joined with us. Daniel, Alvar, okay. Now in here, the first one, can you see the text? Um, yeah. This is major cities. You see, this is the picture of the United Kingdom. So the north sides of the UK is Scotland here. This is Scotland. In the middle is um, England, and then we have Wales in here, and Northern Ireland. So these areas are belong to the UK, except Republic of 
Ireland. Mm, this is in Dublin, Dublin, Ireland. So can anyone read this one? Mm, can you read this in the Putri about Cardiff and London? Cardiff is the capital of the Wales. It's about 67 kilometers east of Swansea on the south coast of Wales. The city was once a major, major part of a coal transport. It is now a shopping, commercial, and industrial center. The city center has international sporting stadiums such as Millennium Stadium for, for rugby and soccer. Many colleagues of the University of Wales are based in Cardiff. Cardiff Bay has many tourist centers of interest of the waterfront, such as the Millennium Art Center and the Wales Assembly. And then London? London is the capital city of England and the United Kingdom. It is the contents of the center of government at the host of Parliament. It is a major financial, commercial, distribution, and communication center situated, uh, situated if, of, in the south east of England, some 80 kilometers north of the south coast. Greater London covers covers six six hundred twenty-five six hundred thirty-five square miles and it consists of the thirty-three spread world district, including of the city of London, the financial center, and the city of the West Westminster set of the houses of Parliament. It is also one of the major centers in the world of the art with the major theater and music companies as the follow. Theater, the West and the Royal Shakespeare Company, the National Theater. Music, the London Symphony Orchestra, the London Philharmonic Orchestra the Royal Opera and the English National Opera. Okay, thank Green. you. Uh, thank you, uh, Linda. So the first major cities that we look at is Cardiff and London. So you see uh, the picture below. Uh, the first picture that you see is the picture of uh, Cardiff. Cardiff. And in the middle is the London Bridge. It's very uh, internationally famous. And if you would like to go to the UK one day, it's very uh, good to see uh, Cardiff. It's the capital of Wales. It's here. Capital, this, this is Cardiff, okay? So it's very close to the sea. That's why it, it says the city was once a major port for coal transport. Jadi uh, pelabuhan ini, pelabuhan yang penting uh, um, for coal transport. It is now a shopping commercial industrial center in Cardiff, katanya ya. And then for London, why it is famous around the world? Because London is the capital city of England for England and the United Kingdom. So from these four, um, let's say, uh, negara bagian, ya, states in here, Scotland, England, for those countries, Wales and Northern Ireland, the capital city is in London. London is right here, mm, somewhere here. This is London. Okay, so it's uh, very uh, close to the seas. And center of government, houses of, the way you pronounce this is parliament, parliament, uh, parliament, when you parliament. It is a major financial, commercial distribution and communications center. And uh, 625 square miles. Jadi, ini memiliki theater music. The West End Music, the London Symphony Orchestra. Kalau sudah perform di sini ya, di kalau misalnya pandemian music, the London Philharmonic Orchestra, itu sama dengan kita perform di New York, uh, pusat kotanya. It, it means that you are going to be famous if you play music in here. The Royal Opera and the English National Opera. Okay, nah sekarang kita lihat uh, Birmingham. Uh, can you read that, Dea Aishara? Hardy? Yes, sir. 
Birmingham is the active manufacturing and commercial city and communication center in the West Midlands, with the second highest population in Britain after London. It is 169 kilometers northwest of London. The city center was redeveloped in 1960 and 1970 as National Commercial Center. It is the home of National Exhibition Center and International Convention Center, which are major venues for commercial conventions and industrial fairs. The city's, the city's cultural activities include dance, Birmingham Royal Ballet and music, the city of Birmingham Symphony Orchestra. Okay, thank you, Dea. So this is manufacturing, ini uh, disebut sebagai kota manufaktur dan kota komersial, West Midlands. Nah, di mana kita bisa um, menemukan Birmingham? Birmingham is located around this area. So in the West, uh, this is what it says, uh, in Britain after London. Jadi Birmingham itu kota yang padat nomor kedua setelah London. Jadi 169. 169 kilometers northwest of London. So this Birmingham is uh, here. So this is Birmingham. Okay. So we tried over here. It has uh, major venues. Um, it has uh, cultural activities, dance, Birmingham Royal Ballet. It's this is the hall. Nah, ini kalau nama fotonya ini dari Birmingham. It has uh, City of Birmingham Symphony Orchestra. Jadi yang music, ballet seperti itu. Which is it's it's art. Now from Birmingham, we move to the next city. It has Manchester. I think you already know Manchester. It's a Manchester United, you know, Liverpool. Yeah. Yeah, but that Manchester one. University. Yeah, Man Manchester University as well. It's very famous if you study in Manchester University. Uh, Manchester is um, somewhere in Northwest. So Northwest, it's around here. So it's uh, somewhere in Scotland, uh, Manchester, close here. Uh, here. This is Manchester, still still in England. It's in the middle here. So this is Manchester, okay? Now this is Liverpool, Manchester, York. Um, can, I'd like to hear uh, Fauzia Alfie. Can you read Manchester and Belfast for us? Manchester's, uh, Manchester is an important cultural and commerce, com commercial center on the western side of England, about 296 kilometers northwest of London. The city was creation of the industrial revolution of the 18th and 19th centuries, when it was known as Contonopolis of the textile manufacturing and become regional capital of Northwest. It is home to the Hell Orchestra and Royal Norton College of Music. It is also a major center for higher education, the arts, and the media industry. Belfast is the capital of Nor Northern Ireland, whose Irish name is Bill First, First Day, meaning mouth of the sandbank in Gaelic. It was once had a major shipbuilding, tobacco, and linen industry. It is also famous for in its Victorian architecture. Mm, okay, so that is about Manchester and Belfast. If you see in the map, Manchester is located in here. This is Manchester, still in England, and Belfast is in here. It's uh, Belfast is a, one of the historical cities in uh, for the Irish. Irish name is Bill Feste. Feste means means mouth of the sun bank in Gaelic. It, it was once had Marysha building, tobacco, dan linen. Nah, ini pada zaman era Victoria, arsitekturnya sangat terkenal di saat itu ya. Nah, Belfast, uh, seperti gambarnya, the first one, this is Manchester, uh, salah satu gedung yang dari Manchester yang uh, sering untuk pejalan kaki di sini, it's very historic sites. And this one is Belfast, and this one is Edinburgh. Uh, ini castle ya, kastil seperti itu. It's still from the old Rome and Victorian era. And Edinburgh, uh, can you read that for us, uh, Arif? The historic city and capital of Scotland on the south side of the Frith 
and for uh, 608 kilometers north of London. It is a center of law firms, banking, insurance, and is also a culture center. It's a include a printing and publishing, mm. bearing and tourism. The city is dominated by Edward Castle, uh, the International Festival of Music and Drama is here uh, annually. Edward also has a distance architecture. Mm. Okay, thank you. No, it's that's about the Edinburgh. It says uh, the capital city of Scotland. So we see Scotland, Edinburgh here. So this is Edinburgh, and it has law firms, Masiada International Festival of Music and Drama. They really love music and arts. Um, it's a distinctive architecture. So this is very unique. You see. Di atas sekarang besar batu ini ada castle di sini. It's uh, the era of Victorian. Um, this is brewing, tourism, publishing. It's very interesting about uh, the Edinburgh. Ada juga Edinburgh, University of Edinburgh in the UK. That is also a good university. Um, kalau lihat universitasnya nanti jangan, jangan lihat ranking ya. Karena each university has its strength, kelebihannya masing-masing. So we go to, now those are uh, major cities at uh, Cardiff, London, Birmingham, and then um, Manchester, Manchester, Belfast, Manchester. Edinburgh. Manchester. Now we go to other interesting cities. The first one is Britain, York, Oxford, Sunderland, Sunderland and Nottingham. Um, okay, so can, can you read that, Delia, for, for us? Uh, Britain, York, and Oxford. All right, sir. Britain is the first seaside resort on the south coast of England. It has lots of well-known buildings, including Britain Pavilion, a palace commissioned by King George IV, and Bevers Girls Square, Rodin. York has preserved or reconstructed Roman. Viking and medieval remains, ancient walls, and the beautiful minster that are popular with tourists. It is situated inland, 311 kilometers north of London. Oxford is situated at the meeting point of the River Thames and River Cherwell, 85 kilometers northwest of London. Oxford University was founded in the 13th century. The university and the cathedral is the tourist attraction. Oxford is a commercial center too, with a car manufacturing industry at Poway, just outside the city. Okay, thank you. Britain, if you see in the south coast of England, so this is England, south coast is right here. So this is Britain, Br Br Brighton, and well-known buildings including Brighton Pavilion, itu pada uh, di, di, apa, dikomisikan oleh Raja George keempat, dan juga di sini ada Sekolah Rodian khusus khusus wanita ya famous girls schools. Berarti this, at that time it, there was uh, I think it's Catholic uh, Catholic school for girls uh, yeah. And then it has York has preserved uh, reconstructed Roman Viking medieval remains. Ini uh, dekat London York. So York okay this is here York um, is still in England and kemudian. Uh, Oxford, River Thames. Where is Oxford? Um, I think it's Oxford somewhere around here. Where, where is that Oxford? Can you see any particular place? It says um, 85 kilometers northwest of London. So this is London, northwest. Uh, some here around this area. So that is the um, Oxford. And the cathedral. So this is the picture of Oxford right here. Um, Gambar Oxford. If you happen to go here, it's very interesting place to see and visit. And this one is the um, Nottingham here. First one, Nottingham uh, Palace. Ada arsitekturnya menarik ya. Kalau diperhatikan 
it's very interesting. And the same thing also with our uh, Minangkabau architecture. Mereka juga tertarik itu. Why Minangkabau people have a roof with this appointed uh, to, to the sky? Kenapa atapnya meruncing ke atas gitu ya. So it's very interesting. And we have um, Sunderland. Pernah dengar Sunderland? Belum? It's, yeah, this is not very famous for our ears yeah, as Indonesian, but we, we know about Oxford and Birmingham. But for Brighton, York, uh, York, uh, so so. Uh, but Sunderland is, is not really that famous for us. But it says Sunderland is um, developed as a coal port and uh, shipbuilding situated 17 kilometers southeast of Newcastle. Newcastle, you point in here. So this is Newcastle and uh, Sunderland is uh, right over here. Okay, so it's uh, quite famous for being a, a support. Port ini untuk perdagangan laut ya, zaman itu ya, belum apa. And Nottingham is right here. Ini uh, terkenal rumah dari legenda Robin Hood. Nah, ini sejarahnya. Dari cerita Robin Hood. Robin Hood yang mencuri harta orang kaya dan dibagikan ke orang miskin. It was located in here. Near the city of Sherwood Forest. Nah, jadi dekat. Jadi Nottingham. This is Nottingham. See? This is Nottingham. Uh, it's uh, closer to Sherwood Forest. This is Sherwood. Sherwood Forest. Jadi hutan... Uh, Sherwoods terdiri atas 17th century castle ini dia jadi dibangun abad ke 17 betul udah sangat lama ya dan direstorasi lagi misalnya di, dibikin lagi desainnya abad ke 16 dan ada houses museum and art gallery its industrial property is a center of lace and hosiery making commence with the invention of the stocking frame in 1589. Tahun 1589 saja mereka sudah punya kastil begini ya. Nah, kalau kita lihat ke negara kita tahun ini kita masih dijajah berarti ya. Uh, ya, yeah. then we 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 already had our development but at the time mostly we were being colonized. Now that's uh, Nottingham. What about other cities? UK has Glasgow, Sheffield, Leeds, Liverpool, Swansea. Which which cities that are famous for you, popular in your ear? Have you known Glasgow before? No. No. Uh, Sheffield? No. Liverpool? Yes, Liverpool yeah. is very famous. It's because of the uh, softball team player, okay? <laughs> Kalau di, di Inggris disebut... Uh, football, kalau di Amerika disebut soccer, so it's it's different, yeah. So fo football and soccer. So let's see Glasgow, Sheffield, and Leeds. Can you read that city, Aisha? Is it just Oh, it's uh, the signal maybe, yeah. Apa, Sinyalnya mungkin, ya. Karena putus-putus. Let's, let's, mm -hmm. let's go. is a city, port, commercial, and industrial center of on the River Clyde, 66 kilometers west of Edinburgh. It was once known as the second city of the British Empire after London. In the 19th century, it was the center for the building of great locomotives and ships, which were explored worldwide. The name Clyde built came to mean of the highest quality. The city was greatly affected by industrial decline after 1945. 1945. Now a major artistic and cultural center, it became the first European Europe mm -hmm. city of culture in 1980. Sheffield is a city on the Riverdon, 256 kilometers northwest of London and 
116 kilometers north east of Birmingham. Coal mining was once located near the city. It has been a center for the product, production of cutlery since the Middle Age and of high quality steel since the 18th century. In recent years, it has become an important venue for conference. Leeds is a commercial and industrial city on the River A and on the Leeds Liverpool Canal, 58 kilometers northeast, northeast of Manchester and 270 kilometers north of London, southwest of York. It has been traditionally a center of the textile trade. Okay, thank you. So the first one we need to see Glasgow. Where can we find Glasgow? It says um, 66 kilometers west of Edinburgh. So this is the Edinburgh. So Glasgow is right over here. So this is Glasgow. Um, it has the second city of British Empire. Jadi maksud dari British Empire ini adalah pada 1500-an itu British ini rule, ruling almost the entire land of the uh, European at the time. So the influence of the British, uh, makanya bahasa Inggris pun menjadi salah satu bahasa asing yang uh, wajib dipelajari di Indonesia. Um, so we go to Sheffield. Sheffield is a city on the River Don. Sheffield can be found somewhere in, uh, this is Birmingham, it's right here. So Sheffield in here. So this is Sheffield. And Leeds uh, is very famous for commercial and industrial city. And it has been traditionally a center of textile trade. Jadi kalau misalnya mau beli baju, tekstil yang fashion design, pergi ke Leeds. Uh, kalau Sheffield, ini uh, production of cutlery uh, and then venue for conferences. It's very good it's right here, Sheffield, for conferences. And Glasgow itu katanya tadi ada lokomotif dan juga um, of the highest quality um, European City of Culture di tahun 1990. Jadi pergi ke Glasgow untuk melihat budaya Inggris di sini, uh, Glasgow. Jadi sepertinya uh, kepulauannya secara tipografi tidak begitu apa ya, uh, tidak penuh, daratannya tidak terlalu dominan, but it has the, um, this, this area, you see, uh, dikelilingi oleh samudra ini laut. Okay, so um, Liverpool and Swansea, it's um, 56 kilometers southwest of Manchester. So Liverpool is somewhere in here. So this is Liverpool, and then North Wales. Dan terkenal dengan ini, uh, Albert Dock. Uh, been transformed into offices, shop museum, television studio. Liverpool ada Universitas Anglican Roman Catholic Cathedral. Ada katedral itu yang seperti di, kalau di Jakarta itu ada katedral yang apa, uh, gereja seperti itu ya. Tapi yang berafiliasi dengan Roman Catholic dan juga Anglican. Uh, I'm not quite really know what it is, but it relates to early form of Christianity and world famous football teams. Jadi tim pemain sepak bola yang yang uh, terkenal di di, uh, di dunia ya kalau Liverpool. And Swansea, uh, so you see here this is picture this is Liverpool dari laut ya dari ininya. Oke, okay. ini Liverpool di foto dari kalau dari kita naik perahu ke sana keluar itu bisa difoto seperti itu. And this one, ini foto dari Glasgow. Jadi kalau mau shopping, mau lihat benda-benda uh, yang uh, branded, you can go to Glasgow. Jadi not always in London. Uh, Glasgow juga is a very major nih, major artistic and cultural center. Pusat dari uh, seni dan uh, budaya. So Swansea, it's um, uh, near Cardiff. Uh, it's right here. Swansea. And then ada um, its industrial residential academic center and main shopping center for Southwest Wales. Wales, yeah, any Wales, yeah, di sini. And the remains of a 14th century castle or manor house are the main tourist attraction. Uh, 
Masih ada itu sudah lama sekali. It's very old. You can go around this area. But remember, with if you go around this area, you need to wear um, cold coat, jaket agar tidak terlalu merasa dingin ya. Karena areanya di sini dingin. Jadi jangan siang hari seperti sekarang ini suasananya. Habis hujan, sejuk, seperti itu. So that's the temperature. So we will move on to next session, sesi kedua. So I will stop sharing here and we will continue in session two. Okay, thank you. I'll see you again in session two. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.